first set out to establish Hilal TV, we had, we had big dreams. We wanted to establish a channel that would propagate the deen, the true deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, not just to South Africa, not just to Africa, but to the whole world. We didn't have much means, but we had the correct niya. Alhamdulillah, I have been blessed with, with people at Hilal TV that are committed. The successes that you see relating to Hilal are not my own, but they are of every single individual who day and night work to ensure that these programs are of the highest standard. And we try and keep a standard of excellence within the work that we do. I kind of try and manage the environment. You know, in Dean, you heard the story of the person who killed 99 people and then asked a person of knowledge that will Allah forgive me says, how can Allah forgive you? You kill 99 person. You kill one person, you, you finish. So he took out his, whatever he had, and he took out his head. Now there are hundreds. Until he met a person of Elm, and he asked him, he says, no, Allah will forgive you. But don't stay in this environment. Go to another environment. And that environment will change. On his way, he passed away. And the angels of mercy are fighting for him. And the angels that want to take him fight. Until they said, measure the distance. And wherever he's closer, that's where his destiny is. Despite the fact he had just left that city, Allah caused the earth to move based on his intention so that he's closer to his destiny. But what I'm trying to tell you that as business people, and as leaders within our community, one of the most important things is the environment within your organization. If the environment is right, it will flourish and it will grow. If you hang around with people that are involved in drugs, you will start consuming. If you hang around with people of deen, you will gain knowledge of them. So make sure that you surround yourself with people that can grow your objective. And alhamdulillah, at Hilal TV, we have that. We have a group of people that are dedicated. A lot of us are technical people. A lot of us are creative people. But our objective is two things. Number one is deen. How do we propagate and give da'wah and make sure that we make the khidmah of our ulama, profile our ulama, and make sure that their message is delivered in the best possible way. And the second objective is community. And that is why we will get involved when our kids play soccer. And we'll get involved when they have nasheed competition. We will get involved at their matric results. Giving them certificates and saying, well done. We're proud of you. You're amazing. Because we want the next generation to be recognized for their achievement. And also, we want to make sure that we fulfill the right of delivering the message. We've had situations where non-Muslims have called us and told us how amazing it is to listen to the Quran despite the fact they're not Muslim. They say it calms them down and they find peace in listening to the Quran. We have a variety of programs. I know some of you watch Hilal, 
but I know there's a number of you that don't. Understand that this is your channel. You need to get involved. Hilal TV is a waqaf. Belongs to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We're here to serve community. We're here to serve the ulama. We can't do it on our own. We may make mistakes. But the reality of it is we're out here doing the work. And we need your help. We need your support because we can't do anything on our own. And this work must continue long before I leave. We're trying to establish a channel that will be there for a very long time. So let your sons get involved. Get them to learn. And get them to use media as a tool that serves the deen. We have seen so many times, we've seen so many times, that the wrong narratives are being presented to us because we don't own the platform. We as Muslims have to own media. We've shied away from it. Some people say it's haram. But the reality of it is that Rasulullah sallam used technology. When he opened Khaybar, he discovered the catapult. And that was the technology of the day. He immediately put it to use to open the next section of Khaybar. And we must use technology to further the cause of deen. As I said, we can't do it on our own. We can only do it as a collective. I'd like to thank everybody that has been involved in our journey from the beginning. And more specifically, the people that have been instrumental in opening our beautiful studio in Durban that some of you may have seen. If you haven't, go upstairs and have a look at it. I'd like to first of all thank Marhum Shaib Musa for contributing towards this beautiful cause. I remember when I met him and I, I have not had the pleasure of actually spending much time with him. Maybe I met him five times in my life. But when I explained what we're doing, I think at the time his son had just passed away and he took a few minutes to think about the work that we've been doing. And then he turned around and said, I like what you guys are, are saying. And he gave us a certain amount and he said, this is for the Isali Sawab of my son Dawood. I was hoping that he would be here today to see what we've done. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best and knows when our time is up. And today we dedicate the Durban studio to Dawood and Shaib Musa. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ensure that we fulfill those rights. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ensure that whatever good that we do is in their mizan on the day they meet the Creator. Whether the guys are doing that Quran with the English translation so people can understand, or whether we have a program where they're correcting the recitation of the Quran, or it's a live program of the Quran competition, may every single reward go to them and everybody that has been involved. Allah says when you recite the Quran, Alif, Lam, Mim, for every letter, there's a reward. Imagine having to do a big thing for Allah, what Allah will do for you. And I know in South Africa, there's a lot of people that have done big things for Deen. And a lot of them are sitting here. And everybody must be proud of themselves. But we need to unite. Because in unity we can do even much bigger things. I'd also like to thank the NMJ Center for allowing us to be a part of this beautiful establishment. We're very happy to be here because we see this place as being central and instrumental in linking us to the community. I'd like to thank Kim, who didn't hesitate when I approached him to say, we want to open the center here, introduced us to the board members, and they all were very welcoming and supportive. I'd like to also thank Ishfaq, I think, I think he's, he's very close to me, like a brother at the moment, because I've been spending time with him, Fajr time, Dhuhr time, 
uh, I think I call him 10, 20 times a day until we've achieved what we've done. Well, I, this wouldn't have been possible without the hard work that, that he put into the studio upstairs. Is our value also, you know, Durban wouldn't look or taste the same without him. He's been a friend, supportive in all the work that we've done, and we thank him greatly. Yunus Musa, also very supportive of this beautiful project. And uh, Yusuf Mullah, Yunus Mullah, who also contributed significantly to this project. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward every single one of them for the studios that you've seen here today. If you haven't seen it, go see it and you'll see that this is the beginning of something beautiful, inshallah. I'd like to thank also the, the board of Hilal TV, the management and staff, because they're the real people that actually do the work. We just guide them through it. I'm sorry I've taken too much of your time, but I feel that it's only right that we thank the people who have made this possible. Verily, if you have not thanked the people, you have not thanked Allah. Jazakumullah khair. Barakallahu feekum. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Thank mm -hmm. you.